Hello everybody, today I would like to complete this uh, skill integration challenge task. In this task we need to configure interview and routing and we also need to configure some static roads. So let's get started and we start from the first step where we need to configure interview and routing on R1. So this is our R1. Let's uh, just configure a uh, serial interface IP on serial interface IP address 172.31.12.255.255.255.0. Then we need to create sub interfaces on the interface Gigabit Ethernet 00, 00 for each VLAN, and then we need to enable uh, 802. 1.1q uh, encapsulation on on this sub interface for each specific VLAN. So let's start from interface G0010 uh, encapsulation dot 1q10 IP IP address 172.331.101 interface G0020 encapsulation dot 1q20 IP address 172.31.21.255.255.255.0 interface G0030 encapsulation dot 1q30 IP address 172 31 uh, 31 255 255 and interface G0088 encapsulation.1Q88 uh, sorry 88 IP address um, 172.31.99.1 Oops, sorry. I'm sorry. I just need to create 88. And uh, IP address 172.31.88.1.255.255.255.0 And for VLAN 99, which I have almost created, uh, we need to make it native. Uh, need to make this VLAN native. So for this, we need to issue this command interface G0099 encapsulation dot one Q ninety nine native. Then uh, the same. IP 122 31 99 1 255 255 255 0. Okay, and interface G00, we need to enable all our interfaces, but to enable all our sub interfaces, excuse me, we need to enable uh, interface. Now shut, and now we can see that all our interfaces are enabled. So IP interface 3. You can see that all interfaces are in up state. Let's go to the next step. And on the next step, we need to configure trunking on switch S1. Switch S1. Switch S1 to uh, show IP interface brief. So switch 1 has interfaces G01 and G02. But according to this topology, there is G11, uh, but this is not correct. So, uh, show CDP neighbor. Let's see. And we can see that, let's check. We can see that router is connected on the interface G01. So, we need to do trunking configuration on the, in the interface G01. Conf T. Interface G01, switch port mode trunk, 
switch port trunk encaps, uh, native VLAN 99 so we need also to add this uh, 99 as a native VLAN you can see this it's here so this uh, Win, uh, VLAN 99 is native VLAN and it's on interface G0, uh, G11 I'm sorry in our situation G01 because this is some I don't know maybe some some little mistake um, so trunking is configured show interface trunk let's verify and we see that we have trunk uh, on the interface G01 then and, and we also can check that native VLAN is 99 okay now let's go to the next question next question finger for a directly attached static road on HQ to each VLANs HQ this one and we need to configure static role to all our VLANs enable IP road so first uh, uh, subnet for VLAN 10 is 172.3.1.10 zero two five five two five five two five five zero and this is directly attached road so it should uh, we, we should use interface s zero 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 because s zero zero interface goes to direct in into direction to our vlans and our switch uh, let's configure the next one it's VLAN 20, VLAN 30, and VLAN 88. Okay, this task is done. The next question is configure directly attached static roads on HQ to reach outside host. Outside host is here. And we need to configure again uh, static roads directly attached to reach this host. So IP road, and uh, uh, we need to configure two roads, primary and backup. Uh, backup road has administrative distance 10. So let's do it. Road, IP road. And we go to network 209. 165 sorry 200 0 255 255 255 224 because 27 is mask 245 245 255 224 and this host 30 belongs to net to this network and our outgoing interface is S0, S0, 1, 0. Okay. Then we need to add backup interface, backup roads, I'm sorry, which goes uh, through interface S011. And it has administrative distance 10. Okay. Next question, we need to configure a directly attached primary and backup summary road on ISP for the entire subnet. Uh, so we go to ISP. Uh, on ISP. IP road and uh, primary pass through serial 011 interface. So IP road 172.31.0.0 subnet uh, 
255, net mask, 255, 255, 1 to 8, 0. And it goes through the serial interface 011. Okay. And backup road goes through serial 011. Zero interface with administrative distance 25. Okay. Okay. And the last task that we need to complete is we need, uh, we need to configure a directly attached default road on R1. Let's do it. IP road. Oh, sorry, comp IP road uh, zero, default road is zero 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 and it goes to directly attach it to interface S zero 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 S zero 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 okay and uh, we also need to do this small configuration, we need to assign VLANs. Let's check if they are already assigned by, from the beginning. Show VLAN. It's not good. Let's check. So VLAN 10 from 11 to 15, VLAN 20 from 16 to 20, and VLAN 30 from 5 to 10. I will run 88 from 21 to 24. So this is done and uh, we need to verify connectivity by making sure all PCs can ping outside host. Let's just start from this one and check. Let's do couple couple hosts. From here we need to verify if we can ping more to one 209 is outside host 209165 uh, 230 finger crossed fingers crossed and yes it's good and let's just say, check this one I'm sorry ping 209 one six five two hundred thirty ping is successful and we also can see the task is completed with 100 points from 100 so at this point we can say that task is complete and thank you for watching my video if you like uh, my video you can click you can like it on youtube and also you can uh, subscribe to my channel in the future i'm also gonna do some configuration in the viral and probably in packet tracer. So thank you very much and see you soon.